Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts Prime 4 as we are playing with the British Empire. I almost said the United Kingdom there. Yeah, we're playing with the British Empire. So, uh, let's go and get a lot of stuff taken care of, guys. Uh, a lot of things to do before we can press play here. So, the first thing is let's develop more oil here. This is 28 oil. That's substantial. It's worth the, uh, the political power. Uh, and then we're also going to go ahead and build up the infrastructure here. Uh, Iraq is going to be the key to our, our oil empire here. Uh, so, let's go ahead and build both of these, uh, their infrastructure all the way up uh, it's gonna be pretty important getting that done uh, so we'll do that uh, I also want to get a radar station here and try and get some coverage here we could also build there I suppose and cover this way more um, yeah I'm not entirely sure where the the best spot would be actually because yeah you could get get it going there or you could go here and cover up that way you know what I think that that one will cover some of that, so let's let's build it right there and try and get it as far out uh, this way as possible. We're going to want to build some radar down here as well, because remember we're going to be attempting to sink any uh, American convoys coming through here. Uh, so we'll build one right there. I don't know if it would be worth it going here. Uh, we'll wait to build in that area until I can see what I'm able to defend and what I'm not. Uh, we are going to send some troops over that way. Uh, we'll get some going over here in Bermuda. Uh, we'll place like one, at least one division there. And then we're going to send over some to Canada as well. Um, but as you'll notice, all of our troops are lacking experience, uh, except for these ones. Though I think it's because they haven't got the manpower yet. But we'll we'll wait till they do. Uh, let's go and get these guys training up, and uh, let's get the situation dealt with here in the Middle East uh, with our new troops here. Uh, we're gonna, or excuse me, with our, our troops that are finished with their conquest. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and attack Saudi Arabia. Uh, so let's start working on just find a war goal here It's not gonna take as long 170 days. So a little bit shorter uh, because of the higher world tension And let's go ahead and uh, get these guys designed out. So what we want to do is we want to set up one front here and Just give them planning bonuses again uh, There's a, I can't believe like how many people <laughs> don't know that you get the planning bonus, regardless of if you initiate it. We're not going to defend their territory. We'll let, well, eh, okay, we probably should. Okay, this is what we'll do. We'll be attacking them. They shouldn't be able to do anything, so it's fine. Um, let's go and get all of our, our troops assigned. Uh, but yeah, a lot of people are quite confused. Uh, but the fact that you do get the planning bonus regardless of or not if you hit the activate button that has nothing to do with it now if you don't hit the activate button if you if you manually control your divisions then it does tick down the the uh, preparation bonus quicker uh so every time you manually attack or whatever uh, move them around it does uh bring it down quicker now the, the planning bonus goes down regardless uh even if the ai is in control it just goes down quicker so there is a penalty to not letting the AI control it. But yeah, this was a major concern when the game first came out, when we found out about the preparation bonus and then essentially it was supposed to counteract the entrenchment bonus, which is you know pretty substantial in uh, Hoi 4. And so a lot of people were concerned that you're gonna be forced to use the AI battle plans, which you know some of us like to manually control our divisions. So that would be kind of not good game design for, for a lot of people because the battle plans kind of sucked. I mean, the AI sucks at the game, so. If you want to be efficient, you do need to control the divisions yourself. So a lot of people were concerned about that, and uh, the, the Paradox made it very clear, and you could test this yourself, that you do get the planning bonus regardless. Um, so, But I don't know how many I get daily comments about people calling me an idiot. Some of people were nicer than others, but most people are pretty, pretty rude, uh, saying, oh, you moron, you don't get the planning bonus if you don't put the AI in control. Uh, AI does better than you could ever do anyway, or some stupid shit, which I can don't understand that logic. Uh, they say that AI. They say the AI does better than they could do. Which, okay, uh, you know, if you are still, you know, learning the game, then yeah, I could see why you might want to put the AI in control. You know, uh, but yeah, I, I don't see. <laughs> I don't. I don't feel that way. But anyways, um, let's get let's get started, guys. So we are gonna go ahead and give them some uh, motorized divisions. Uh, we'll move some of these guys over here. Uh, we do have the ability to change up our divisions a bit as well, so we'll make sure we do that here soon. Uh, let's have one of these guys go here. And then another one go over here. And then the line... I don't know. Do we want to bring more? Yeah, we'll bring more. We're going to bring two more over, over here, actually. 
All right, excellent. So get them up to 24 divisions, and then we're just gonna move these guys around. Um, trying to get them them assigned to different locations here. Uh, so we'll, like, we'll put a couple of these down here, and then like one of this guy right here. And just try and get these up to like, like 12 here, so that gives us about seven more divisions to kind of play around with here. Try and get assigned to different locations. Get like two placed there. Uh, let's see here. I don't think these guys are assigned yet, so let's go and place them there. And then like a couple more here. I don't know how many I just did. I wasn't counting. But that should leave. Yeah, 12. All right. I wasn't even counting. That looks pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and have them get plenty of bonuses as well. There's a big old desert storm over here, too. And... Again, once this is just for the planning bonus. I'm going to try and race to the capital there, if we can. All right, so they should all start moving around. We're going to need to train some of them. You notice the tanks just lost a ton of experience uh, because they're not very good, so they probably took kind of ha high casualties. Uh, we can make adjustments to our division, so we will. I want to get the infantry divisions finished up, or, or close to finished up anyway. So what we're going to do is let's go and change these guys up to artillery. I might just remove them and then add a new one here like so yeah uh, actually you know what we need anti-tanks don't we yeah it will do anti-tanks then do I want to do anti anti-air though I don't think we do yeah I don't think we're gonna build anti-air guys I think we're just gonna rely on our air force let's just focus on anti-tanks it'll be fine it's fine, guys. Maybe if we go to 40 width, we'll throw an anti-air in there, but otherwise, yeah, I don't think we will. Uh, so that's 15 experience. That's all we got. Let's go ahead and save that. It's going to make some big changes to our divisions, and now we know for a fact that all infantry divisions will have to, to train up over here, so we'll go ahead and tell them to train now. And uh, soon we'll send divisions over there to uh, to Canada, but first got to get some of them training. All right, let's get all these moving around. Did I do everything I needed to do? I don't actually know that I did. I want to say so, but I could be wrong. All right, that's also going to take a bit of manpower. We're going to start having manpower issues. Oh, yes. I knew there was something I forgot. Uh, I went ahead and changed up the navies again. Um, made some adjustments or to the navy, excuse me. Made some adjustments to the navy overall. Uh, so we've got a new uh, fleet that's going to be based out of here, which means I do need to build that up. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we have one here as well uh, that's a level three, but I kind of want to use this one. Uh, so let's build it up to just like one level for right now so they can at least repair there. That'll help with our, our keeping our troops supplied there too. Uh, so we're gonna build that up. And uh, we're gonna move a uh, few ships over there. So we have some old destroyers and old submarines. Uh, they're gonna operate out of here, give them a couple of light cruisers as well. Also, I took a lot of the, the newer ships we had, uh, newer light cruisers, destroyers, and submarines, and moved them into the other two theaters. Uh, so that's, you'll notice that there's a lot less ships up here now. So yeah, uh, just kind of made some adjustments with, with the, uh, the fleets. All right, and these guys should, yeah, we got a few more uh, planes in there training up as well. Just kind of in a training phase uh, while we get ready for this war here in Saudi Arabia. So yeah, you can move, see the ships moving over there. Also, apparently we didn't have these two, uh, these two task force training up there, so I'll fix that. Oh, nope. Let's move them over here. All right, excellent. So once these guys all get to their places, which it looks like they are, let's go ahead and get them uh, training up. We probably are gonna have to train the entire army up. I could be wrong. Uh, so we'll just take a couple ones that are uh, that we know need to be trained up. Looks like all these guys here are done training. Excellent, let's go and move them back into this army. And we're gonna move some of them over there to Canada, which will result in us creating a new army. We'll do that once we get them there. Um, but let's see how many want it, we wanna get. now. I know that we need some troops in Bermuda, uh, so let's go ahead and get, uh, like, maybe two divisions, man? Like, this is important because this is where we'll launch naval invasions likely from, uh, most likely from. Uh, we could also launch a naval invasion there. I wonder if, hmm, yeah. Okay, this is what we'll do. Let's take one of the troops here. Oh, wait, this guy needs to be trained, too. I I'm sure we have troops all around the world that need to be trained up. So we'll take a look at that in a second. Yeah, let's take uh, one of these guys and move him over to here. I said I wasn't going to protect that. We'll try. Uh, I'll see what happens there, guys. Probably not. They'll probably die, but uh, we'll see if we can protect it, I suppose. Because uh, I don't want to move a regular one over there, a regular division. We'll move these two divisions over there, though. It does look like they don't have... They have their manpower. They do. They just don't have their equipment. Okay. 
Uh, let's move these two over to the Bahamas, the Bahamas here, and create a new army for right now. I uh, just so I can keep track of which ones are moving over to this area. Uh, these guys though would go into they'd go into that army. And then let's give some uh, more over here to to Canada. So I don't know how many divisions we want here. I just want to protect this area here, if possible. Just taking a look at uh, what areas we should protect. Now we know we need to protect these two cities here, uh, and we'd want to do it like like this. Just protect along the river. Uh, we can't beat the Americans here on an offensive without sending a ton of divisions. And I don't want to do that until I know I'm going to be at war with them. Like, if we go to war with the communists first, and then we got, like, a whole army over here just wasting away while we're not at war with the Americans, that would not be smart. So let's just send enough divisions to kind of protect it. So I'm thinking, like, not many. Uh, maybe, maybe eight divisions to Canada would probably be enough. Yeah, uh, eight divisions, and maybe, like, one of those will be a motorized division. Uh, I don't want to send too much motorized. I don't think we'll need it. And one more infantry, and that'll be enough, guys. It'll have to be enough. Yeah, I think eight divisions will be enough. All right, let's go ahead and get them moving over to here. All right, so we've moved the divisions around. That leaves us with almost a full army, but remember, a lot of those are cap divisions as well. Okay, um, so let's keep uh, keeping our eyes on these guys, on who still needs to train as they get the, the new equipment there. Uh, let's just kind of dip around the world and take a look. I mean, we, we do not have any regular divisions over here. I did not realize that. Not a single regular division over here. All right, well, we do want to protect it now. I wasn't sure if we were going to, um, you know, invest a lot in protecting here, but we will go ahead and take a couple divisions and send them over here. Just a couple, not much. Like one into each area, one regular division. And that is it, guys. That's all I'm sending them. All right, so these guys all need to train. So we'll take them, put them into this training army here. It's gonna be kind of a pain in the ass, like making sure we put them all in the right spots. All right, so we got a division here that's done training. He needs to go into that purple army, and then we're gonna take him and move him. Let's see where we need them, him the most. Uh, Singapore is getting another division. We have four divisions there. Uh, so that'll put four divisions there, three there, three there, and only two right there. Uh, so I am might not be a problem in this one. Uh, let's move him down here. Yeah, he might not be an issue. It's hard to say. And, oh, what did I do? Oh, shit. God damn it. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, that's great, guys. I, I, I completely deleted the army. Oh, fuck. Um, can I just tell them all to stop or any in the sea right now? Yeah, that was my bad, guys. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, that's awesome, guys. Yeah, that's that's typical. <laughs> All right, so they should now uh, be fixing themselves. Oh, that was really stupid. I, I sent them all into the, the purple army. I don't even know how that ended up happening. It just did. It just did, guys. All right, so we have uh, this division done training. Uh, let's get him placed over here. All right, uh, are all these guys trained up? Looks like they are right now. Okay, and yeah, we're just uh, preparing for this uh, this conflict. Uh, the tanks are, are so garbagey, man. They're not good. We got the uh, naval rearmament. Uh, that's more dockyards. Uh, it only said one dockyard, but I think we ended up getting three, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so what do we want to get next? Uh, I think we said we were doing ones that gives us the ship tax. Uh, so light cruiser would be a good one. Uh, Naval Doctrine would be helpful as well. Destroyer Focus uh, would be a nice one too. I, I think we're going to do the light cruisers. And that also lets us build them quicker. So that's another advantage to that. Yeah, let's get the, the light cruiser one. All right. Uh, we want to get our uh, dockyards, a new dockyard design. Yeah, we got three new ones from that National Focus. All right. Well, let's go and place these into... Let me just take a look at what all we want to get. Um, because we're getting new ships, I'm not going to bother creating variants. That's fine. I know that it, it could be helpful in the long run, but we're not going to do that. Uh, so let's put another one in the submarines. Let's get um, one more. Are we getting both? I almost want to put yeah, both of those into the destroyers. Uh, all right. Well, that's fine. We'll do it this way. I feel like we're not building enough destroyers right now. So we'll put a bit more into those. Uh, this guy here is done. Let's put him over into this army here. 
and just keep our, our keeping our eyes on all of the training troops. So not training uh, needlessly again. We just got to be always keeping that in mind because we do not have the equipment to be wasting. Uh, we are full up on the fuel, um, so let's stop trading completely for fuel. I don't think, or for oil, I should say. I don't think we'll need any. Yeah, we are good, uh, and we are currently building up a uh, another uh, fuel silo. And okay, that we're losing a little bit, but that's okay. I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, we might even have. No, we don't have any. I was gonna say we had some ships there we could pull out, but that's not the case. All right, we do have a submarine here that can be added to that fleet, though, or that task force, I should say. Okay. Uh, so, I guess we'll have these three here train. Well, these two here, I should say. We're gonna have them train. Let's keep our navy experience going up high. And do we have anybody else done? We do. All right. So we have a couple divisions here. Uh, that we're gonna place back into this army. A lot of troops over here. Don't know how well we'll do uh, here now. Yeah, it doesn't look doesn't look good, guys. We might want. We have two regular divisions there. Hmm. And then these guys are. Yeah, those are both reservists. We might want to go ahead and build up the uh, fortification here a little bit higher. Then, uh, though, though, where are they at on getting them towards fascism? They're twenty one percent. Hmm. Okay, this is what we'll do. We'll leave them for right now. And just see what happens. Let's kind of play the waiting game. Uh, we can go up to speed uh, five now. I'm not dealing with as much stuff as I was. Uh, we got the improved computing machines. All right, so let's go ahead and go. We will want to go the improved fire control system eventually. Uh, let's go ahead and go with the decryption and encryption first. And I don't remember when we're getting this. Let's take a look, 26th of November. And that's when we'll, we'll be able to declare war on them. We do have unassigned divisions. So let's go and get these guys training up here. And this guy's done as well. And we're not building a new division, so might as well get rid of that training army for right now. All right. And we'll go ahead and take a look. Well, let's do this first. Uh, get these dockyards assigned. We didn't finish either one of these. No, we didn't. Okay. Just wanted to make sure that, that we didn't have uh, uh, something that we needed to build. And let's go ahead and place... One of these into attack cruisers, and I guess one into the uh, support cruisers. We'll just kind of invest in in cruisers. And we have another division here, apparently. Oh, okay, I didn't see that. There's two there. Get those guys trained up, and I'm guessing that's from maybe the equipment we sent them. We did send them some equipment. I'll take credit for it, I guess. All right, so these divisions should be here. Yes, they are. Excellent. And we are going to want to change up their icons. Uh, and we'll probably want to like start adding new theaters and stuff as well. We'll go ahead and do that right now, in fact. Uh, let's go ahead and do a new theater here. And this will be the Americas. I'll, add, I'll name it later. Uh, so we're just going to set them up. I'm not going to give them like a regular border. Instead, let's just give them a, a fallback line. Because I'm not planning on attacking here, guys. Uh, I don't think uh, that would behoove us. And let's just protect like so. Protect their key cities. In fact, let's protect all the way across here. And uh, see how that looks. Obviously, they're able to get over this way. Uh, honestly, we, we need more divisions here. This is just a, a temporary uh, thing. If we end up going to war, then we'll have to change it up. And then we can go ahead and bring these guys down here as well, because this is the Americas. Uh, you know what we can do? We can go ahead and have... Let me just take a look here. Let's... Yeah, we do have... I thought we had something here. We can go ahead and get him uh, a bonus here. Which one would we want to do? I guess Charismatic... It's typically the one I like getting. It's a pretty useful one to have. Uh, we won't get him the other one, though. Uh, let's leave a slot open for if he can get something else, you know, more defensive-minded, since he's our defensive field marshal. Uh, and we do, do seem to need to trade for some oil. However, we're currently really working on getting oil at this point, so, you know, I'm not too worried about it. I think that'll, that'll fix itself eventually. And Trotsky survived the assassination attempt. Okay. And remember, he's in Mexico, which is a uh, communist country at this point. All right, so I uh, got the cruisers, and oh, we got a couple things done. We got the uh, armor as well, and we got the cruisers. So yeah, this was a mistake I made here. I completely forgot that I, I made this. Uh, yeah, I posted a, a pinned comment in that last video about it. 
But yeah, I got the uh, the cruisers instead of the the carriers, so I wasn't paying attention. I completely forgot that I did that. Um, so and we got that research bonus going for the cruisers as well. So it won't apply until the 1944. I completely forgot about that. Damn it. Uh, so we're gonna have to go for for carriers now. Uh, that was my bad, guys. And we don't even have any of this stuff to put onto the cruisers. Um, I mean, I guess we can we go ahead and start building them, and I mean it's still better. And then we just create variants of them. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, so let's get the carriers. That was that was my mistake, guys. Uh, and then we also got uh, the armor for those, so at least we can add that to it. Uh, so we have that going. We need to get techs um, for equipment, so let's go ahead and get more equipment, guys, uh, with this other tech here. And I know we're in 1940, and there's a lot of stuff to get, uh, but we are going to go with the equipment. Let's go for stuff that's going to help out our cruisers, I guess. Oh, you know what? Dual-purpose secondary batteries would be the most useful to get initially, I think. Yeah, let's do that. It's only 46 days to get it as well. So, yeah, I, I completely forgot about that damn mistake there. Uh, what we want to do is just build one more of each of these. Uh, damn, that one's almost... How much production is that? That can't possibly be much production. Um, I almost feel like, yeah, let's, let's just make a new one here. Uh, we'll just delete that. All right, so let's go ahead and get some, some adjustments to our cruisers. And we're going to want to... Hmm... Yeah, we, we're going to have to remake these here. Uh, I hope it took it off of the... I don't know which one it took it from. Okay, it looks like it did take it from the attack cruisers. All right, so let's go and make any adjustments. I don't, I don't know what all we have. I know we didn't get the anti-air. Um, sonar, we do have new sonar, though. Um, so we're going to get that. Though, Did we have the fire control system in here? We might have had the fire control system now that I'm thinking about it. I think we did have the fire control system. My bad. Yeah, we don't want to We don't want to change from that. Uh, we might have better radar we do not uh so we can get the better engines in there though uh so we'll place that uh nothing i don't think there's anything else oh the armor we have the better armor so we can put that in there uh, and i, I want to say that that's it that's all we have uh, it's, but we can add a new component to here uh, so let's go ahead and do all right so these are our attack cruisers we already have them you know some torpedoes we have them, given them that I don't care that they don't have uh, the ability to attack submarines again. Uh, that's not really what their purpose is going to be. I don't like their lack of anti-air here, though. Uh, that's kind of a problem. Uh, so I think instead of giving them another gun and increasing their light attack even higher, which is already kind of decent, and I know we're going to get the secondaries here uh, soon, uh, but for right now, let's go ahead and give them anti-air, and then we can change that up once we get the uh, dual purpose, and we'll put a dual purpose in there instead. Um, for right now, let's give them anti-air. Just so that's a little bit higher, because as of right now, it's kind of garbage. And then go ahead and give them... Uh, we're going to want historical light cruisers. It's fine. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and save that. And then we're going to want to make a adjustment to that. Let's just duplicate it. Yeah, just duplicate it. And then uh, make this support cruiser uh, that we had made before. And we're going to want to change them up, give them sonar instead of that. And I don't really, really remember what all we had on them, but I remember they were really focused on, on anti-air. Uh, so we will want to make, I know we want to get rid of that, uh, give them better anti-air ability. So we'll change that. Oh, oh yes, yeah, step charges. So they can at least attack some submarines here. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take a look and see what we did here because I don't really remember when I had the support cruiser. Uh, so yeah, they were very focused on anti-air with the depth chargers. Okay. So let's go ahead and, and uh, make those adjustments. Give them some more depth charges, and and once again, just focus really heavily on the anti-air. All right, so this looks solid, guys. Three anti-air up here uh, to get the anti-air up to 11.2. Because remember, uh, this is going to be uh, crucial. Uh, that's really how you're going to win the air war. Uh, at this point, is or excuse me, win the naval war is uh, by having uh, good AA because we know that the Germans and the French are going to have a lot of naval bombers uh, out there. Um, the Americans, ah. Uh, I mean, it depends on how close we get to them, really. Not too worried about the Americans when it comes to them uh, and their aircraft helping out in the naval war, but the uh, Germans and the French uh, are going to be a problem. And I guess the Americans can use German air bases, too, so that's something to consider. All right, uh, so let's go and get these guys building. Uh, we'll just do both of them and put them on underneath. Actually, we're going to cancel. That's right, I remember now. Uh, we're going to cancel this, this cruiser here. Uh, it's fine. Um, I know that we're losing a little bit of production, but I'm willing to, to do that uh, to get a, a much, much better cruiser out there. All right, let's get them building uh, out there, and uh, then we need to get the support cruisers. 
And then we'll just take these guys. They're almost done, so we'll let them finish. And, uh, you know what we can have? And it looks, it looks good. Uh, have them deploy as well. Okay. Looks solid. Um, we just got the cruisers, yeah, but I, I had completely forgot that I got those carriers right. last episode. That was, or I got the cruisers instead of the carriers. Uh, that was just a mistake on my part. I wasn't paying attention to what I was clicking on, apparently. All right, uh, so we do need to get more divisions over to here, but again, I want to get the war in Saudi Arabia done with. Uh, so we're waiting to, to get that uh, completed first. And I'm going to change up these guys as well. We'll just make them look. Now uh, we'll give him a star. Right, I like this blue here for the American American ones. Maybe we'll change change these up a little bit. And uh, I mean they're they are defensive, so it doesn't have to be. We'll just like uh, lighten them up a little bit, give them kind of a gray look to them. All right, excellent. So I'm not sure if we'll keep them based on theaters because of the the situation of Phil Marshall. So we might change this up, guys. Uh, yeah, we may change this up a little bit, and this won't be like an American theater. This will just be the defensive theater, and this will be the offensive theater. I think that would be the best way to do it. Um, so we did get Field Hospital 2s. Excellent. Uh, so what all do we need? Let's take a look. I know we need 1940 infantry techs, uh, and then, of course, there is the 1939 medium armor if we wanted to get that. Uh, there's still some techs down here that we need to get. Uh, and obviously planes and, and ships as well, which um, as far as the planes go, I, I want to wait for the fighters, but at the same time, I don't. I, I don't think we'll get it anytime soon, so I think we might just go ahead and get the fighter one, because let me just take a look here uh, how far away we are from it. I mean, yeah, we're two, two away uh, from getting that. And we could just get the Coastal Command instead. It does give two research bonus for, for fighters, but you know what? I really want to get the new fighters out there. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Uh, let's use this for fighters, because uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want to wait to get these here. I want the best fighters out there that we can have. All right, so just kind of continue dipping around, making sure that everybody's trained up here, and everybody in this army uh, looks like they're trained up. So we are ready as soon as uh, we get this war goal. Uh, we're gonna go and attack them, and uh, hopefully we should get it completed soon. We're not getting much from this. We're just really connecting our territories here. Uh, four oil is not much. Uh, they probably don't have many factories either. Uh, four military factories, three dockyards, four civilian factories. Not much, guys. Uh, synthetic oil experiments has been completed. Fantastic, though. We might not need the oil at this point now. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see. But, yeah, we've kind of got some places that now have oil. So I don't know if we'll build uh, refineries just yet. Uh, we might just have to wait uh, for that. We can, because we're building... Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Let's get this one. It's 74 days, because we're building out new ships and stuff. I think that'd be smart. Secure the Imperial shipping routes has been completed. Excellent. Uh, so that's the light cruiser research bonus there. And we now produce them quicker. Uh, but yeah, that was that was my bad. And, and I should have remembered uh, that I had messed that up. So we didn't need to get that. But I guess building cruisers faster would be nice. Uh, but I'm saying we don't need to get that uh, immediately. We should have got something that would get us a research bonus that would help us now. Uh, we could do, go ahead and do the destroyer focus. I think that's what we do. And it's going to take a while for us to get the that battleship completed where we'll need that. So let's go ahead and get the destroyer focus so we can get those new destroyers out there uh, get those researched. Orders. And we do have troops done uh, here. So I think, I think those are both here, aren't they? Yeah. So let's get them placed into this army here. Ready to move. And yeah, I just don't know how this, uh, how well this army will do against the troops here. Uh, so hopefully we don't have to fight them. We're, we got them up to 22%. You know what I'm gonna do, guys? Let's really start focusing on that. Uh, we will cancel the boost party popularity there, and then instead boost party popularity here in Spain. Really start focusing on trying to tick that fascism up as quick as possible. We got the dual purpose already. Uh, excellent. Um, so. See so what we want to get next uh, for, I guess, the, the cruisers is what we'd want to to get. Um, so AA would be, uh, new AA guns would actually be pretty helpful for our, our ships. Uh, but yeah, we're actually behind on that. Damn it. Okay. I think uh, we're going to have to go towards that um, soon. I guess that's what we'll do now. Let's go and get the anti-air upgrades. 
it's gonna be uh, good for our ships, guys. Uh, I, again, I, I feel like that's where we have the potential to lose a, a good chunk of, of uh, ships is, is just in the, in the air war. Those naval bombers are, are devastating, guys. Uh, we do have another uh, air base there that we can make use of, so we will. Uh, let's go ahead and send some planes. We also have one here that we can make use of too. So let's send some more planes over there, guys, because yeah, we don't. We got a ton of planes, uh, so might as well. Might as well get them helping us out. Uh, not naval bombers though. Uh, do they have any ships? Uh, I actually don't know if they have built any. No, they don't. They they're probably just building convoys with their ships. Uh, you can't really do much with just three dockyards. So yeah, let's go ahead and send some more planes over to them. Uh, we're gonna do. We're gonna do quite a few for right now. There's no reason not to. And just send a, a ton of well i mean there's supply issues i guess there's that to to consider it should be fine i suppose we don't need that many uh fighters here i'll we'll just send a few fighters in uh and not get too crazy with the the fighters I'll send these guys over here and maybe like one more close air support over there as well and then that'll be it for right now and let's go and get these guys stopping training. We we'll have one move over here and one move over here. All right, uh, so we should have more planes that need to get trained. So let's go and get those guys out there. In fact, we can do two things of, of naval bombers. Excellent. And I don't know if the, the war will start this episode. It's, it's taken a long time to start, really. Uh, again, I said this last episode, and it's, it's just not surprising because of everybody having to change. Almost everybody's changing ideologies, and that takes that takes time. So it's it's not surprising that it's taken so long for the the war to start between the great powers. Uh, we are in October 1940, though, and still hasn't kicked off. Uh, they're getting the southern thrust, though. Uh, so we'll see what that end up, ends up doing. Uh, so we have one military factory. Just take a look at stockpiles. We should be pretty good on just about everything now. Uh, yeah, even motorized is secure now. Anti-tanks. We're not doing good on anti-tanks. Okay. Uh, well, let's put some of these into anti-tanks. We'll pull from motorized and then uh, put them into anti-tanks there. And probably should get some more, some more planes, guys. Let's do more close air support here. And we have one more military factory. All right. We're upgrading those, so we'll keep those uh, going into that. And let's do, yeah, we're, we're pretty good on those as well. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull from these, in fact, because I feel pretty good about uh, where we're at there. Although we are gonna be getting new ones soon. That's okay. And then we're gonna put these guys up to, they're already on five times. Uh, we're gonna put them up to 10 and then just give another one to the fighters. Let's take a look at our resources. Still pretty good uh, on resources, not having issues just yet. And when do we get this again? November, I believe, right? And hold up, uh, Latvia just joined the Central European Alliance, Estonia joined as well, and Soviets moved to secure the spear. Uh, so yeah, I want to say this is November 26, okay. Uh, we got uh, free dockyards, uh, I think we just finished up building something. Uh, oh, the carriers, nice. Uh, well, we are researching carriers. Uh, in 15 days we're going to get them, so let's just assign these to just anywhere really doesn't really matter. I do need to take a look and see if I can find those destroyers that I, I built. Uh, hopefully I didn't send those places I didn't want. Uh, let's take a look if we can find those damn destroyers. We do have a bunch of ships here done as well. Uh, so let's get all these guys placed into the training fleet. Oops. God damn it. My bad, guys. I need to go there. I moved these two and it's, it's messing me up. I switched their places and I'm all messed up about it. All right, so I want to see if we can find the Muppets. So we have two Muppets here. And uh, I, I don't know if there's other ones. Let's go and put them over here. We're just gonna stop them from training and uh, have them go over here for right now. And, oh, God damn it! That always messes me up. I have two of them selected uh, whenever you, I wish I didn't do that. When you pull a, uh, a couple ships out to create a new task force, then it has both of them selected. Uh, I wish I didn't do that. All right, so those are the Muppets we have built. I want to say there's got to be more and that maybe I assigned them uh, to other places when I didn't mean to. Uh, so let's just double check and see if that's the case. Uh, if I assigned any of them over to these two theaters. No, doesn't look like we did. All right, so that's what we have. We have two, two Muppets. 
that's fine. Um, but maybe we do want to increase production up a little bit. Uh, we'll mess with that once we get that, that carrier ready though. Uh, so decryption's done. Let's go for encryption next. But yeah, just surprised. I am surprised uh, how long it's taken. This is finished membership here. How long it's taken. They're just both building up their factions. Uh, you know, the, the Comintern built up first, and now uh, the Germans are building up their, their faction. All right, so both of these guys are ready to join Purple Army and to get placed somewhere. Um, so five divisions are in Singapore right now. Five are over there. Let's move uh, one of these guys over here then, and the other one will go over here. Uh, of course, we could uh, help defend the Dutch territory here as well if we wanted to. Oh, Hong Kong. Uh, I completely forgot we need to defend Hong Kong. So we'll move a uh, division over to there then. Let's have... Let's just take... Let's have this guy over there. Yeah, I completely forgot about Hong Kong. As of right now, it's not under threat, but it could end up being under threat. Uh, we got the carrier holes completed. Excellent. And uh, allowed vehicles. So... Let's go ahead and get another, uh, well, we could do equipment while we wait, since there are so much more equipment than we need. Oops. Uh, so maybe we'll do that. Uh, we get more, uh, better torpedoes. We can get the light batteries. I think that's what we're going to do, in fact. Let's go with the light batteries, guys. we get 58 days to get that knocked out. Uh, also, we can modify our government. Uh, but first, while well, I'm thinking about it, before I, I forget, uh, let's go ahead and get a new carrier designed. Uh, so, let's name these after historical carriers, and let's give them a new air wing. Uh, we definitely want more hangar space on these, uh, and I don't think we have anything else to update right now, other than the engines, of course. Uh, oh yes, we have the dual purpose. Okay, so we want to go and update those. And you know what? We should probably update that other carrier design. Or, excuse me, cruiser. Good God. They both start with C and it just is messing me up. Uh, so we need to go ahead and name these. All right, so I think that's the only adjustments we need to make. We got them a name, and yeah, I believe we're good here. Uh, so let's go ahead and save that. And get these guys uh, building. Get our new carrier building. And we're going to want to... God damn it. i turn my WASD keys off so that I could... could spell. And then... Got to turn it back on. All right, so what we're gonna want to do is go ahead and pull again from the submarines. Uh, we want to get one more going to the Muppets as well, so we might need to pull from somebody. Uh, and then I didn't change these uh, icons up for the support cruiser, excuse me, uh, and the attack cruiser, the old ones we can, or both of these, we can say we don't need those in here any longer. Uh, let's go ahead and take these and change up their icon uh, to, well, I think we have them as anti-air, don't we? Yeah, I think they're supposed to be anti-air, but you know what? Let's give them a sh uh, shield instead. Let's update that. And we only want to build one more of each of these cruisers for right now. Let's get those constructed, and then we're going to want to make some updates to them. And I think that's all I need to do in here for right now. Uh, we could improve the Muppets as well. That would, in fact, be beneficial once we get the new destroyers, I mean, uh, because we can make them even better at at uh, laying mines, so we probably will. Uh, these guys are done. Okay. Uh, I want to say that they are over here. Yes, sir. So let's go and put them into there. And, yeah, we are almost ready. Uh, we'll get these planning bonuses up. Uh, it looks like the tank's the only one that's going to need to get some planning bonuses. He's pretty garbage overall, though. Um, he, he's just terrible, terrible design. Uh, we have civilian factories ready to be utilized. Um, let's take a look here. Our current capacity is 808,000. That's probably good for right now. Uh, you know, obviously we're not even maxed out just yet. So I think we're good on radar for, again for right now. Um, we're building one there. Uh, obviously we'd want to get some over here uh, eventually. But for right now, that's it's fine. Uh, as far as oil, I know we have those guys maxed out there. Uh, this could get us a little bit of oil here, but is it worth it? Probably not. Ah, uh, you know what? Five oil. And you know what? We will go ahead and do that. Let's build that up. Yeah, we'll build it up for the oil. Uh, again, I'm just trying to secure our oil so that we won't have any problems with having to trade. And we're going to have to trade for some, but I just don't want to have to trade for a lot. Uh, so we, we're good there for right now. Might want to get a couple more. You know what? Let's go ahead and build up both of these. Just one on there on Malta uh, anything else we need to do looking good as far as infrastructure throughout this territory just kind of getting ready for this conflict guys and you know what I'm gonna move these guys because this just keeps messing me up 
I keep assigning them to the wrong spots. And what are these guys? Okay, these are our mine ships. We need to change up their icon so that I know that. I'm sitting here clicking on them. Uh, where's our, there we go. All right, excellent. So we know what those guys are gonna be doing. There we go, that's it. Uh, we've been waiting, we've been waiting for the Soviet, for the war to start. And it just did. Uh, it looks like it will start between the Soviet Union and the Democratic uh, German faction first. Finland is not in the faction right now, uh, but Germany is currently doing Finnish membership. They might even just ask them to join. I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I might be speaking too soon if Finland gets defeated really quickly. Maybe they won't. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, but they have declared war. Soviets have declared war in Finland. Uh, so that's the first... Uh, war that the Soviets declared. I want to say that's the first war that any of the major powers outside of Italy against Ethiopia, which they started at war with them. I could be misremembering, but yeah, I don't think anybody else has declared war. All right, so let's go ahead and get some get something changed up here. Our manpower laws are, are just terrible, man. We're going to need to get that eventually. But I'm trying to get the, the research bonuses here, guys. We still don't have anybody here because we lost that one. Overall, yeah, not... Uh, not where I want to be on this front. Uh, so uh, the theorists, we need 250 to get. So we'll wait uh, to get that there, but we should get the tech bonuses, man. Let's go ahead and get the material designer first. And it's a nice 15% bonus towards getting infantry equipment, which we do need uh, some techs there. And Soviet Union just declared war on Poland, so they could join the faction too. So I feel like this should start the conflict. And Germany is under attack. Uh, oh, I should have read that. I'm curious what, what that was about. Yes, yeah, so we'll have to see if yeah, that starts the conflict. Poland just joined the Central European Alliance. Yes, sir. So it does seem that uh, the war is going to start uh, between uh, the Central European Alliance and the Comintern first. That's the way it ended up going. Interesting. Very, very interesting, guys. Um, how, do, how, how long or how far away, I mean, are we from getting these guys? So much so that, it, yeah, when it's uh, getting relations up doesn't help. A lot of people are always like, oh, we'll just improve relations and then they'll join. It's a barely, uh, makes barely any difference. It's it's for every 10 relations you have with them, it's one point. Uh, so a total of 10. So you can see we get eight from this and we're at negative 29. So it wouldn't, wouldn't help getting relations up, but a lot of people don't know that. Um, all right. Well, I want to get the, to war with the Saudi Arabia done first before we join against uh, either one of these. And let's see how it goes too. Uh, I don't know who will win here. It does look like France is already pushing forward a bit. Germany has multiple fronts they have to defend. I'm interested to see what's going to happen. And Finland did join the German faction as expected. So that's that's their faction now. And what we'll do is we'll click on this and, and take a look. Well, it's hard, kind of hard to see their faction. Uh, Norway is in their faction. Sw uh, Sweden is not. Uh, so remember, Belgium and Luxembourg is. Uh, so France will have to attack across there. And, oh, wait a minute, did they... Oh, okay, I'm still looking at the faction map. I'm like, did they annex them? I was confused as hell, man. All right, so let's see if the Americans join the German faction. Uh, we got that uh, research bonus for the destroyers. Uh, so we'll be building that soon. We can get this uh, bonus here for building, but we're going to focus on research bonuses first, guys. I think that'd be a good idea. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the Britannia Rules of the Waves. Give us those naval doctrine bonuses too. Alright. And the fall of Leningrad. Alright, they push them forward. Alright, the uh, Finnish are pushing forward. The Polish are pushing forward too. Alright, Soviets are having some problems, man. They got themselves into a pickle. They're the ones that declared the damn war too. Alright, so we do get some radar here. Uh, let's go ahead and get. Uh, might as well get the next one. Be helpful for our ships. Uh, and then we'll want to go ahead and build out the radar stations uh, so that we have level threes everywhere. And just better coverage, man. All throughout. Yeah, I don't think we even need to get one in Cyprus, honestly, guys. I think we're all right. Uh, could do one in Hong Kong here. Uh, I don't know if we'll end up being able to hold it or not. We'll just wait to build there. It's fine. I'm, again, I'm not too concerned about the Asian theater, guys. Um, did Japan even finish up their civil war? I think they're still at civil war, aren't they? And still in that civil war uh, with the fascist? I could be wrong, but I think they are. Uh, let's take that down to the bottom. Let's take a look. Yeah, they're still at war. Uh, so I'm not I'm not worried about the Asian theater. I don't think it's going to be a problem. Uh, oh, yes. We have, like, stuff we need to be doing, don't we? Uh, submarines need to get assigned. Large ships probably need to get pulled out. Nope, they're still training. Uh, but we do have planes that might be done here. Uh, nope. All right. So I'm not uh, not wasting any, anything right now. 
And we did get the war goal. Excellent. Uh, so it's towards the end of the episode, unfortunately. Not surprising. Uh, let's go ahead and declare war. They might pull somebody into the faction. So this could be us joining the, the, the overall war. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, they could join either faction, and that will determine who we go to war with first, essentially. Let's go and attack over here. And yeah, attack this way. And just get our, fl our planes flying overhead while I'm thinking about it. And not going to get naval support. I don't even know. Yeah, we could only get naval support right here, so it's irrelevant. Uh, and yeah, maybe along the coast here. But yeah, I'm not going to bother moving the, the, pl the ships uh, as of right now. And again, should be able to easily control the skies here. All right, uh, so let's go and attack across here with all of our divisions. Uh, tanks get to do a nice easy attack, which is good because you know, again, they're not well designed. Uh, we're not going to attack those guys. Let's just cut them off. Uh, I think that'd be the best way to do this. Again, cut these guys off as well if we can. Just protect Kuwait, I suppose. Yeah, we don't have enough divisions on this side. I knew that we we're going to have some problems with uh, defending here, and once we get that province taken, then that's going to free up quite a few divisions. Let's go and have with these guys. In fact, move over to here. All right. Uh, so we'll play for a few more minutes, guys. Then we're gonna have to end the episode. Lithuania did join the Central European Alliance. Let's just go ahead and try and get towards Medina with that tank division. And we got the anti-air upgrade, excellent. I need to take a look at our planes, guys. Or excuse me, our ships. Make sure that we only have them all building one. Yeah, because we did get the, well, we haven't researched the destroyers yet, so we won't do that. So we'll keep the destroyers building as is, uh, but all the other ships need to just be building one. And I did never did set up these two other ships here to go into where we're deploying all our ships. And also, we also thought we need to, to look at the uh, carrier here. I'm sure that we have... Well, okay, they're looking all right then. Oh, yes, that's right. I moved... Uh... Okay, yeah, they're fine. I'm a little bit surprised by that. All right, so uh, the carrier is good. Yeah, everything looks good. Let's go ahead and continue our war over here. Just gotta always keep an eye on all, you know, the larger, uh, the larger picture. Oh, these guys. Sh shit, I completely forgot about them. Uh, so let's go ahead and do an attack here. And attack here. And did win there. We're gonna try and race towards the capital down there. Let's go ahead and have these guys move here. We already have a division going over that way. Grab that for us. Let's have him go over there. Get that territory. And still got a guy on the railroad coming down here. And these guys have now pushed forward. Let's have them race towards the capital there. All right. And what we'll do is have these troops here. We'll just have one go to the back here. While the other one, if I can get him fucking selected here, we'll grab that port. All right, just try and get these troops here cut off. Uh, we did lose there, but you know, if they want to advance further into here, that's fine. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, and we will support this attack here. This guy's gonna move on over here. And almost got Medina. And make sure that we have troops pushing forward everywhere. All right, uh, we did get military factory. Uh, so let's go ahead and get those assigned. Let me just take a look at how we're doing on stockpiles. Anti-tank is still not quite where we want that to be. Let's go ahead and just put a bunch more factories into that. Uh, and then let's go ahead and race down to the victory point here. Uh, we could also connect here. You know, we'll do that real quick. Just all we have to do is take that one province and then that will uh, cut them off since this guy's already coming down here. All right, let's have him stop. Still attacking over that way. And there we go, we have gotten the capital. Um, yeah, they should be defeated pretty soon here, guys. Let's have them attack over here then. Shouldn't be much longer. And uh, we'll have uh, Saudi Arabia knocked out. They didn't join a faction, interestingly enough. And they did attack us here, and they're about to, to get them destroyed. So we probably should help out there. <laughs> All right, and then we're going to go ahead and attack here. And yeah, it does look like that did cause some problems when they took that province. Okay, well they're fighting back, guys. They're not giving up. So this is, they're not going to make this into an easy victory for you. Although I mean, it's still, I guess, technically easy. But Ready, all right, and I think he's going that way. So let's yes, have him go grab that province for us. And going to attack there. All right, I'm not really worried about getting the the fronts Ready. all you know fixed and stuff. It's not a big deal, guys. 
I'll just attack them to lock them down. Does seem that we lost that attack there. Okay, well we are reconnected right here. Ready, just going to race over to there. And uh, we've gotten the majority of their victory points, uh, so I think we just need that one there. Uh, which, if we put this guy to go grab it, that would end the war. Uh, this guy could go there as well. Let's just race over there. Whoever gets there first. It's a race. Let's go and attack. Oh, it looks like we actually already won there. We'll then have this guy go over this way then. Just attack, guys. Get it done. Get it wrapped up, please. All right. Uh, so that guy's going that way. We'll have this one attack over here. Looks like they're taking advantage of like whenever my troops take the railroads and stuff. And they did grab that port there. Psh, bastards. <laughs> uh, they're making it harder than it needs to be because I'm all I'm all expecting them to just like just give up, man. Just give up. All right, so go ahead and go there, and uh, I don't think we have enough divisions over here. Let's make sure that these guys go here. All right, so we'll attack over this way, and it's like there's I don't know what the hell that guy's doing. And just going to wrap this up. They should be defeated now. So let's just get the peace treaty. There we go. Excellent. Um, so let's just go ahead and take all states here. And end it. And good to go. All right. So they've been annexed. And that is, I, we actually were able to do it, uh, the whole thing in the episode. I wasn't sure if we were going to get that done or not. Uh, we do have one dockyard that uh, we have available, I think, from taking taking it from the, the Arabians. Let's go and get this place then. So we're trying to finish up those cruisers. So I think that's what we'll put it into. Let's try to get those completed. All right. So that looks pretty good. Um, I think we are going to have to trade for some fuel, by the way, guys. So we'll get all these troops moved around uh, and yeah, just start preparing for the conflict against one of these sides. I don't even know who we're going to fight first. Uh, I could just keep conquering little countries and then just the first one to join one of the factions that determines who which faction we're in. Uh, but, you know, we have the national focus that gives us the war goals here against Iran and Afghanistan, so I don't think we'll attack there. I don't want to attack the Turks. I, I don't know which one we're going to use the focus on yet between the Greeks and the Turks. So those are just have to see. The Greeks might join on their own. Yeah, so maybe we can get them both in. It's not impossible uh, that we can get them both into the faction. If the Italians don't go declare a war on them, you know how they, the Italians like to do. Uh, but yeah, they're getting pretty close. They're now 26. Uh, so still, though, even if we got relations all the way up to 100, it would still be eight short. Uh, so yeah, there's no real point on, on getting that done. Uh, we do have a ship done here, so we're going to get them moved. And then we'll take a look and see if anybody's done building or, or training, excuse me. And then also we'll take a look at the planes. And they're pretty good as well. All right, guys. So I think, uh, yeah, I don't think there's really anything else for us to do uh, other than to, to join against uh, one of the two sides here. Um, and I, I'm curious to see who's going to win. That's I want to help the side that's, uh, I want to go against the side that is doing the best, which I assume the common turn would do the best here. I don't know, though, because uh, it does look like it does look like the Central with the Central European Union, right? Yeah, Central European Alliance, excuse me. Central European Alliance is uh, winning against the Soviets. I mean, the, the Polish have taken a little, lost a little bit of territory here, but it's not too bad. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, they're they're definitely taking provinces here and there. Uh, the French have, have pushed forward a little bit. They got one province there. Um, it probably was a costly one as well. They probably shouldn't be attacking across there. Because, uh, yeah, there's there's forts here and a river penalty, so... Uh, maybe the Germans didn't have any troops on that border, though. That's that's also could be the case. The German faction is only in Europe, by the way. As you can see here, the common turn is not at war with anybody but the faction here. Uh, while, you know, obviously the common turn is, is everywhere. They are all, all over the place. I guess there is... Uh, oh, yeah, there's, there is Belgium. Uh, they're in the faction, but they haven't been pulled into the war yet. So that would result in, more than likely, the French uh, conquering uh, the Congo here. Yeah, I would assume the French would. They do have troops there, so that would allow them to gain that territory. Uh, more more resources there as well. But other than that, it's it's the war is pretty much restricted to to the European theater. Uh, so I'm, I'm curious to see that it develops. Um, I mean, we're pretty much ready for the conflict, though. I mean, we're we're pretty good. The only thing I would like to do is change our manpower laws up, uh, go to the next law, next conscription law, and start building some more troops. But other than that, I mean, we're great. Uh, we could make an adjustment to one of our to our division designs. 
Uh, that might uh, be a wise thing to do. Um, get recon companies there. Uh, the other divisions, uh, division designs are pretty cruddy too, though. So we should probably change up. We should probably change up the motorized. In fact, uh, the tanks are are really bad though. Like they are so bad. Uh, so we need to make adjustments there as well. I think we'll do the motorized first though, just because we have more of them. So yeah, we'll make some adjustments to the motorized. Uh, in fact, we could just go ahead and add the field hospitals here now. Yeah, let's just go and give them field hospitals. That's all the experience. We we just don't have any damn army experience. And these little wars haven't done much to, to get it. But I love how this now connects. Look at this. It's beautiful, man. Yeah, that is great. Now it's got that British Empire written across like that. Yeah, I'm loving it. I like it. All right, guys. So that is going to be the end of the episode. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, next episode, I don't see why we shouldn't get involved in this conflict. Uh, I don't know. We'll see, though. Uh, and again, I don't know who else we would attack. Uh, there's not really anybody. There's not really anybody I want to attack uh, at this point. So I kind of just want to get involved. Um, I'd love to hear your guys' opinion, though, uh, down in the comments below. Who you think we should go to war with first? Whether we should go to war with the Central European Alliance or go to war with the Comintern. I mean, you can make the argument to really help either. Uh, I don't know who's going to actually win this conflict because these guys are doing all right, even though they have a two-front war. Yeah, Yugoslavia can't really get involved. So it's just the French and Soviet borders. And Germany's pretty powerful. So I don't know. It's really hard to say. And they have all these allies here. And they all, you know, border each other. I mean, yeah, it's really hard to say who's going to end up winning. It does look like the Soviets are making progress here against uh, the Finnish and, and uh, the Norwegians. The Finns and Norwegians. So I don't know. Uh, I think maybe we should go against the common turn first. That also keep us from having to, to, to go to war with the Americans immediately. And yeah, just kind of concentrate on getting the Kamis defeated. And that could that could be fun. The only problem with that is that I want the Civil War with Spain. Uh, to already have happened. I don't know. Yeah, but I'd love to hear your guys' opinion. Uh, so if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like on it. Subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell and leave a comment. I hope to see you on the next episode. And thanks for watching, guys.